I am amazed it survived that at all. All the buckles work. With the mud getting out, all the zippers work. So that's expected. These heavy duty rocks and stuff, that's just this bad spot to be dragging. One reason the drag test can be unfair. So well, this is the four class 50 liter backpack. I've actually been using this thing for almost two years now. So it's about damn time we get to it. I'm going to try to keep this short and concise and just get to the point. We don't need a full blown overview. You guys can read, you can Google. I will have a link to this pack down in the description. And if you want to get down into the nitty gritty about it, that's where you'll find it. I'm just here to talk about the capabilities and how this thing survived the grunt proof way of life. First off, this thing is extremely comfortable and ergonomic. You see how these straps are and with the load lifting straps that will change the placement on your shoulders as well. The shoulder straps are nice and thick. I have not had any discomfort hiking with them. No issues at all. It took me a little bit of getting used to pulling this strap on the bottom to cinch it down to me. I come from the army world with the Alice Ruck and it was always just second nature for me to throw my ruck on, grab those straps and bend over and zip those things on that way. But luckily the handle is easy to find. Nice bright backpacker orange so you can't miss it. Even if you don't get a good grab on it and you get it all twisted up, it ain't gonna hurt it. Down here on the hip straps, the padding is nice and robust. This reminds me of the Marine ILBE or the newer Filba ruck. Nice and thick pads. And you got this mesh in here so you don't get all hot and sweaty around your hips. You have a nice wide belt and it is super long. Plenty of room for those big guys or if you're wearing this on top of cold weather clothing. This easy fit up here, all this does is slide up and down. So if you know how to fit a backpacking pack, once you put this ruck on and set it to yourself, this automatically will adjust based on your body and how you set it up. Very cool. Also, you got mesh right here at the padding. So you do get some airflow in here. I've hiked in 100 degree temperatures with this thing. And yeah, of course you're going to sweat back there, but it's not horrible like some rucks that sit on your back. Now you have these funny bumps here and I thought that would be uncomfortable, but that's actually what helps keep it straight off of your back and you get some airflow in there. So it was a lot more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. So it's 50 liters total capacity. There's the America term up there for you. It has plenty of compartments. So you got the smaller one on the outside, seeing I still got mud up in there. This top one right here for all of your smaller doodads. I really wish the army would do this, but they have these giant mesh pockets right here on the side. That'll fit your Nalgen bottle, no problem. Your small lightweight tents, your rain jackets, any other kind of stuff you wanna just throw down in there. You could fit about a day's worth of snacks in one of these pockets. And of course you've got straps up here for the backpackers to connect your trekking poles. You cannot hold a gun on there, I've tried. They're not made for that, but you could put some other stuff up there. You also have these longer pockets up here on the top where you can slide stuff down in there. You got one on each side. So this, I'm not sure what this is for. Maybe compressing the bag a little bit if you're not using all the capacity, but I would actually use this to strap other random things on my bag that I don't mind hanging off my back. So up here is where you have the travel bag, which is another extra compartment. It sits up top. It's actually in my house right now, but there's a shot of it for you. So down here in the bottom, you've got this extra pocket. I'll show you guys. So I would actually use this to put a pistol in because check this out. Right over here, you pull these zippers together and they give you a little lock thing. Now this is only gonna hold one of those small luggage locks, but if you're talking about carrying firearms in your vehicle in places where you have to have it locked up, you could just throw a big old lock through these loops and there you go. Based on the law, it counts as being locked up. You're going to have to check your local laws though because some of these crazy places require a hard case. Not for the criminals though, they get to do what they want. So a really cool feature about this bag, it'll operate like a suitcase. So you can actually zip this thing all the way open. And by the way, when mud is not caked in there from me dragging it, this zipper is insanely easy to operate. It's almost too good because I found when I have this thing fully packed, if I don't have the zippers down here on the bottom, they can actually come open on their own just from movement. 
not from hiking, but when you're throwing it around. So I like to zip it up and have it all the way down here on the bottom. But there is your suitcase function. So I'm doing some other tests. That's why I got all these uniforms in here. You could fit a 14 inch laptop in here or some other documents. You have a secret pocket up here and you can also throw your camel back in there. See, they got a little hole for you for your straw to come out. That's how I do it hiking. You've got an extra pocket down here, mesh, so you can see it. You also have a mesh pocket here on the inside that is separate from this one. And I believe we got one on the other side. Yes, we do. So this thing can totally function as a travel bag. I almost forgot about the hip belt pocket right here. This will actually fit my GoPro 9 with the small little stand that I have it on, which you guys are watching me through. You can fit a cell phone, stuff like that, chapsticks, small things you might need when you're hiking. My only issue with this is because of where it is on the belt, it's kind of far back. So if you're walking around and you're loaded down, it's a little hard to operate that thing one-handed because it's so loose and there's only one zipper on it. So I wish they would have added an extra zipper to it so you could access it in any direction. I also wish they had another one on the other side. That would be a big plus. Oh well, it is what it is. All right, now let me show you guys a really cool function. The backpackers are gonna love this one. So in America, if you want to waterproof your bag, well, rainproof it, a lot of these companies require you to buy separately the rain cover. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. I don't even use those things. If I'm worried about wetness, I just put my stuff in a dry bag or a trash bag. But for class, just like most of the European companies, they actually include the rain cover with the bag. So American companies, why don't you guys learn something and include it? It's just some cheap freaking plastic. So it does come in a backpacker blue. It's got clips and snaps and doodads to make sure it actually stays on the bag and it fits on the bag, no problem. This rain cover also has a small Velcro pocket right here. I don't know why. Backpackers, help me out. That ain't fitting the cell phone, so I don't know what's going in there. Maybe y'all secret stash. But I think that's very cool that it is included in the price. There is the price once again. So I guess if you wanted to carry something around secretly, you're worried about people digging through your stuff, this would kind of be a secret pocket. It does blend in with the bottom. Most people don't think about looking at the bottom of a rucksack for any reason. Well, there you have it, guys. I'm glad I finally got to this one, but it took me a while to test it for comfort over a long period of time, long-term use and durability, as well as the final grunt proof test like drops and drags. Besides a little bit of tearing where it got drug on one spot consistently, it still survived and it is repairable. So I'm not too worried about it. Thanks for joining me guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you like and subscribe until the next video. I got to prepare for the next winter storm. I will see you guys in the outdoors. Take care of yourselves.